Now, our first guest has been making people laugh for the last 20 years. Her infectious brand of comedy has taken her from the world-famous comedy store to shows such as Saturday Night Live, The Young Ones, French and Saunders, and Absolutely Fabulous. She's here today with a warning for single women everywhere. Please welcome Helen Lederer. <laughs> Come in straight off the back of us talking about this um, this little grant for your views are popular, aren't Jane's views? Oh, she just has to breathe and everybody applauds. What do you think? Yeah, what do you think well, about it? I think it? it's rather random. I don't understand. Um, I don't understand whether it's means tested or not. 190 pounds. What would it? What mm. would it buy? Uh, lots yeah. of apples, obviously. Yeah. Uh, maybe a year's <laughs> supply of apples and fruit and veg. But I think it's random, and I don't understand it. And it's probably a tax do dodge. I'm very suspicious about it. It's come out of the blue. Out of the makes mind. no yeah, sense to me. About it, no, do we? we need no, to read it. I felt, yeah. I felt no offence that you didn't know enough about it. Because your you're views absolutely. are very... I like your views, you see, Denise. And I think we need more information on that topic. Thank you. Ah. Hello. Okay. Yeah. Well, obviously, you're a mum. You're, yourself. And you found I yourself. Did that face. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And I said you're a mum yourself. Actually, it took two of you, but you know what I mean. Oh, um, dear. I remember now. <laughs> not for very long, if I. Oh, whoops, sorry. <laughs> yes. But you, you found yourself as a single mum later in life. How did you, how did yes. you deal with that? Well, I was in my 40s. And uh, I'm not saying again. on which side of the fort is. And uh, no, this is very interesting because when you are single again, I couldn't get a boyfriend for ages. It's very difficult. And um, then I was introduced to my current husband. And um, it, and what I would like to say is it's actually quite awkward when mm. you're just leaping here into the subject. Mm. Um, it's quite awkward to talk about um, contraception. Yeah. Um, when you're older, when you're older thank younger. you Leslie, when yeah. you're older as yeah. opposed to when you're young and they talk about it too much actually because mm -hmm. I have an 18 year old and I know all about that. <laughs> That's <laughs> the other side of things. But yes, um, so when I, when I met the person I had to do this thing of, I had to say this thing, sorry if I'm frank but I won't say anything really. rude. I had to say, do you have a thing for doing this with? <laughs> and he said, uh, he said yes he did. I said fine. He said, uh, would you like me to go and get them? I said, yes. He said, um, <laughs> they're in the car. I said, fine. Well, that's a bit of a well, killer, yes, isn't it? Well, already. Then <laughs> love just got to my car. All right, he said, in the car. Then he said, um, they're a bit old. <laughs> And I said, oh yes. He said, but then uh, Simon and Garfunkel don't age. Do you know? <laughs> he was um, bringing some audio cassettes ah. for a long journey. Oh dear. Um, <laughs> wasn't that but long. were you expecting, did you want him to go and get the thing? The thing. From a contraceptive point of view yes. or from a... Oh, you're oh, so thing. insightful. You're so insightful, Denise, because the thing is, this is the point that um, apparently the Royal Pharmaceutical Society have done some research, and one in five over 45s, which is me, obviously not most people here, That's don't think that they're going to, isn't there, um, they don't think they're going to get an no. SDI mm. at all, because more people mm. on Saga holidays or whatever are obviously having, um, <laughs> what else do you do in those chalets, dear, um, <laughs> is obviously having extracurricular yeah. sex. Or with your new partner because you're in between relationships and discovering the joys of new ones. But you know, I, I can absolutely understand that. Yeah. You know, if you're a woman yeah. in your 40s or 50s yes. or even 60s and you suddenly find yourself single again, either yes. through divorce or you're widowed or whatever. Do you, you go think, to the chemist? Oh, do you ask for something? Do you yeah. buy rubber gloves and washing up liquid? <laughs> uh, and then maybe ask for something and what are they called? Have they changed their names? Yeah. It's, it's so easy though. You don't have to go You don't have to go to because this is a very serious yes. subject. Yes. Indeed. Uh, I've Indeed. got a friend who works at the GUM clinic and she's been on about this for ages saying that there's a whole you know generation now yes. of, of people who are really not taking care of themselves really? mm. and you can always pick them up in asda i mean they're everywhere well, pick up what <laughs> these women oh sorry <laughs> <laughs> I they, do, no, they do have singles nights as well not that i'd know no. um, well, they used to say something for the weekend yes yeah. exactly yeah. 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 So, so, it must be very that. awkward though because you know the man might easily say well why do i need to bother you you know you're over there aren't you you've got no i eggs. know but I you mean, see it's a part it's egg free, it's an egg free zone because yeah. it's not about eggs because you can still transmit the um, the problem thing, um, uh, um, uh, even though you're not um, egg uh, live. <laughs> 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 
to <laughs> just and to it's a hormone that. I can't You mean speak that properly. older women don't necessarily have to use contraception because they're worried about getting pregnant, exactly. but they could get diseases. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Let's just say that. Uh, let's yeah. just, okay. uh, well, you said it so beautifully. <laughs> I didn't need to. Well, I mean, obviously, you're talking about, your, how old is your daughter? She's 18. She's 18. So, uh, how does she feel about the fact that her mum is championing <laughs> safe sex? Sorry, her face <laughs> went again. Sorry. Safe sex for, all, uh, you know, slightly older ladies. Is she embarrassed? Is she supportive? Well, I mean, if you remember when you were 18, which wasn't that long ago, I think it's, it's just abhorrent to think of your parents doing anything. And I remember on a caravan holiday with my parents, um, and uh, they were separated by a four mica table. Um, <laughs> This is a bunk bed situation. Um, we were in bunk beds and we actually heard them kissing. Oh, <laughs> and I wonder if a table being used for contraception. Well, no, they, they kind of... Uh, anyway, and I tell you, I've never felt more sick in my life. And it stuck with me. So I think, understandably, we don't want our own young people to share our own activities. But yeah. they have to be educated. Yes. Yes. They have to be educated to avoid going back to our problem earlier. And, I, uh, you know, uh, teenage pregnancies. Do you, think, do you think the young ones are a bit more savvy than, than us, say? They, they seem to know more, but then I was brought up in a kind of bohemian family where we could talk about anything. In mm. fact, we, it was too much. We could talk about anything as long as it affected us emotionally. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and um, it was, uh, and um, my mother um, kind of put the fear of God that the worst thing would be to get pregnant. So, of course, before I had actually done it, I thought I was pregnant because I couldn't... I thought, oh, God, I'm pregnant. And I was doing my O-levels, and I lay in bed thinking, I'm pregnant. And um, all I'd done was kiss. So, but, it, but her message was right, it's just a bit forceful. <laughs> Which is an interesting point to end on. My pleasure. <laughs> Thank oh, you very much. Pleasure. It's Helen Lederer. Thank Ooh. you.